Good morning, campers. It's uh, Wednesday. Um, again, actually quite a lot busier today uh, or in the last 24 hours than it was uh, in the previous 24 hours. And um, maybe the next 24 hours will be a little bit busier again. Um, like I said, we're ramping up for Gamescom, so you can expect a, a lot of Gamescom news coming in the next sort of week or so. Um, but this is what happened in the last 24 hours. And we put up the second part of our um, feature on the launch story of the original Xbox. Um, this one charting the process from sort of getting over the first hurdles like, right up until the uh, until the, the green light meeting on uh, Valentine's Day uh, 2000. Um, it's fun. Uh, part two is coming tomorrow, which is all about the uh, GDC and uh, CES reveals. So that will be more fun. Um, so yeah, go and read that now. Um, if you pre-order Battlefield 3 on Origin, you'll get beta access, which is probably a, another reason why you will well why you will obviously buy that game. Um, and uh, we've also got some uh, new shots of the Battlefield 3 battle log service up on the site now, so you can take a look at those. Um, Kudos Noda uh, said yesterday that story-based Kinect games are coming soon. Um, if I were you, I would be watching Gamescom. Um, there's a there's a pro tip for you. I think we're going to start seeing um, some bigger core games coming at Gamescom. I think that may happen. Um, Sony revealed yesterday, or someone revealed yesterday, I haven't actually read the story, that you can use a Vita as a PS3 controller. Um, I think, can you do that with PSP as well? I don't know. Um, you can use Vita as a PS3 controller. It does loads of other stuff as well. Vita is uh, like some kind of wonderful tech thing. Um, and, uh, and I'm sure it will be amazing. So, uh, yeah, go and read about that now. Um, EA Sports has launched um, its long-rumoured season tickets subservice uh, for its sports titles. Um, we, we've been expecting this for a while. Everyone has. Um, it's going to cost you around $25 a year. Um, you get sort of special bits, early playtime, and so on. Um, Sucker Punch co-founder Chris Zimmerman um, has said that uh, selling Sony won't cause too much interference at the studio. Um, I, I believe you, Chris. Uh, Sucker Punch obviously has only been making uh, primarily PS PlayStation games for forever, so um, so yeah, that that's probably likely. Um, Satoru Iwata is continuing on his very, 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 very sorry crusade about 3DS. He's really sorry about 3DS, and uh, this time he's been apologising to early adopters. So if you if you were early and you adopted, um, go go and be told that Nintendo is sorry. Uh, you can do that now. And um, Blizzard, this could be interesting, has filed a trademark for something called Miss of Pandaria. No idea what that is. Um, you know, is it the next MMO? Who knows? I don't. Um, go and read about that right now. Uh, Borderlands 2 um, is going to be announced soon, apparently. Everyone knows uh, the board, uh, uh, Gearbox has been working on Borderlands 2 for about 35 years, at least. Um, It'd be good to see it, and a lot of people are getting very excited about that, and for good reason. It's a great game. Um, there were some mock-up shots of an iPhone 5 on Gizmodo yesterday, apparently. Um, looks like an iPhone. Um, we've got a new uh, multiplayer video of Assassin's Creed Revelations, which uh, looks very cool, um, as, as Assassin's Creed is, is, is generally is, is generally is. Tired. Um, and uh, Ubisoft said yesterday that um, Brotherhood is going to be downloadable on PSN as, as of today. So uh, go and take a look. Uh, Lord of the Rings War in the North is going to launch in November. Now, I obviously just thought that was Lord of the Rings and uh, didn't pay too much attention to this for a bit of a time until uh, Stephanie saw it and did a, a big piece on it and then actually realised that it's amazing. Um, this is being made by Snowblind, but you should definitely check that out. It's, it looks like a, a certainly is a full-powered action game. It's a sort of adult uh, Lord of the Rings game, Ad adult as in violence, not pornography. Um, but you should uh, you should look at that. You should keep an eye on that. It's going to be good, I think. Um, Namco reported uh, first quarter fi financials yesterday. Um, all the graphs went up. Um, sales and income were both up. Big up the Namco. Um, the Steam version of Limbo is now available, costs you $10, you should buy that, why not, play it again. Um, there's some extra content in the PC one, so you should obviously buy that again. Um, the BBFC listed a Game of the Year version of Red Dead Redemption, buy that again as well, why not, may as well. Um, 
Epic's Rod Ferguson uh, said yesterday that uh, those who uh, play leaked game builds are choosing to ruin their own experience. Um, Rod's been in Europe this week on a, on a Gears of War 3 tour. Um, he was in Spain and uh, he's been in the UK as well, I think. Um, so obviously he's talking about the, the recent leak of Gears of War 3. So yeah, don't play it, buy it instead, obviously. Why, why on earth would you do that? And finally, Atlas has said that Catherine is his biggest launch ever um, in Atlas's 20 year history. Um, I, I can fully believe that, um, but we haven't got any sales figures as yet. That's it. Um, we've got mental amounts of Gamescom planning to do. Um, we've got part three of the Xbox feature tomorrow, um, which is all about uh, which is all about the leather jacket, and so you don't want to miss that. Um, until then, have an amazing day.